everybody, welcome to Kicking Back. On today's show, we're continuing our look at the World Cup. We'll be continuing the World Cup kit competition, and we'll also be answering your questions in our Q and A segment. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a shorter one than normal, but a good one. A good one, yeah. short but sweet. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, good. Really good, good, good stuff. Okay, so um, I guess before we get into all that, one thing that we should talk about because uh, it was massive and we covered it in a previous episode, but we didn't really go into much uh, detail was the Ronaldo interview and what. Where that's left Ronaldo now, because he's playing at the World Cup without a club, which is pretty wild. Um, it's probably why he's performing as well. Yeah, he's doing all right, isn't he? <laughs> he's yeah, he's in right. the shop window, that way you can tell. <laughs> um, so what do you think about the outcome that happened? Do you think it's the right outcome given what he did? I know it's a hard question to answer, isn't it? But what are your thoughts? Um, you know what? I think that when we talked about him on a previous episode, we didn't we didn't see the the um, the interview, and we didn't really know what he was going to say. But we were right to say, "Don't say too much too soon," because, in my opinion, to be honest, like, I mean, we're not going to go again. We're not going to go into the Messi Ronaldo debate. Right, yeah. But I mean, he's he's someone that yeah, I look up to, but he's not someone that I you know I aspire. From, do you know what I mean? He's, yeah, just, yeah. he's just someone he's a, I, I like to watch. But after that interview, I thought, you know what? He's got a point. And that's just my opinion. But the guy's got a point. Like, he's a professional player. Yeah, he's in the wrong, but he's human as well. Mm. So after that, I was quite like, I was quite surprised by him. I thought, yeah, you're all right. You're yeah, no, I, get you. I, I totally get you. Like, it was like an emotional response, wasn't it? It, yeah. was, it might not have been the smartest by the books. What would a professional do? But it's also like... You have to, A, give him a special dispensation because he's Ronaldo, and B, when you look at his message, what was his message? It was he's trying to drag them up, isn't it, to yeah. his standard, really? He's a professional, and he's human as well, so, yeah. 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 I think that in terms of the club, I mean, it's hard to say, isn't it? I know he's got... Wasn't he, like, linked to Saudi or something again? Oh, yeah, yeah, that again came as up well. again. That's like, reason. for 200 million or something. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> it's good money. But... <laughs> we should look at, later on, what club we think we'll go to. I think that was a question in the Q&A. Oh, was um, it? Yeah, so we can cross that bridge but one thing that did happen as well I don't know if you saw but the Glazers finally announced they might look at selling the club exactly yeah that, that's probably come from him hasn't it right so there's yeah. a little, is that not a gift for United fans yeah. have they not been screaming for I that mean, for 10 thank years thank you yeah yeah, yeah thank you, like, so it's quite impressive uh, that that that's finally happened because so many things happened before and never actually got that result yeah so. exactly it's an interesting one isn't it it's un- unprecedented really they always say footballers should sort of like stick to the script to the degree and uh in not doing that i think he's probably done united the biggest favor possible yeah which and is... you can you can see he's enjoying playing for his country now as well he right. was crying wasn't he bless yeah, him at, yeah, the, at the national anthem and to be fair he did well like um he's done really well i don't know if you saw it did you see his goal i did that yeah, wasn't the, his goal. yeah they said the hairspray <laughs> who test. knows what yeah it's yeah, the hairspray exactly, yeah. yeah who knows <laughs> it, yeah he's doing great isn't he i mean hope well this is something actually that we'll touch on a little bit later but I don't think he's confined to an MLS move or, a, you know, these yeah, old, like, guy who's finished type moves. I, agree. I, I don't see that in him. I think he's I got, think a, he's lot got a couple of years left. For sure. Interesting. All right. Well, guys, um, we're brought to you by our World Cup partner, who I want to say thanks very much to. This is footy.com. Stop wasting your time scouring the internet for hours trying to find the best deals on kits, boots, and trainers. Because footy.com is the UK's number one football price comparison site, and they have one job to save you time and money on and off the pitch. Think of them as the string pulling playmaker, gathering prices from all your favourite retailers and brands, and then laying them out on a plate. All that's left for you to do is pick up your spots and score a tap in bargain. So head to footy.com for your next pair of boots, your club's latest shirt, or even treat yourself to a fresh pair of trainers. It's all there for less. Thanks very much, footy.com. Now, I will say at this point, the last time we did a podcast, right? <laughs> <laughs> it needs saying because we're going to wind up talking about Are you this trying stuff. to apologise yeah for kind it? of technically <laughs> England played Iran right and we won 6-2 and we recorded this not long after that and I was just buzzing I thought right here we go I don't want to say it's coming up but it seemed like it could have potentially been coming up anyway the point is recorded that podcast sent it across it didn't get uploaded until after the America game where we've drawn nil-nil with USA so it looks like I'm buzzing over that, and I wasn't, and I'm very sorry. Now, what we're about to do, probably, is have a quick chat about England playing Wales, which we're recording about five, quarter past five, so that'll be at seven o'clock. Yeah. Just so you know, like, because this will probably go out afterwards, so how do you feel like England are going to do so it? So this again? is the build-up. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> this is the, pre- the build-up after. 
after. It's weird, isn't it? We yeah. need to sort this out. But what do you reckon about England Wales? How do you think we're going to do? I think it's an interesting one. I mean, mm. I don't know what the outcome's going to be, but I mean, it's two home nations against each other. Yeah. And I mean, Wales haven't had the best run so far, but I mean, they're against England now. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be twice as hard. I think England obviously need to be cautious. I think I think it'll be a good game. I think it'll be a good game, but we'll yeah. see. You know what? I think Southgate is going to change things up because I've heard this week about Bellingham not starting. Oh, Henderson going in, Henderson right? starting. Yeah. And then I've heard about both of them playing. I've heard about Rashford playing. So I don't... We'll see. We'll see. Right. And there was a massive uproar that Foden didn't play, wasn't know, there? Yeah, so this, yeah. that guy has got so much pressure on him now. Right, of course. Yeah, I saw loads of... <laughs> Just a reminder, Gareth. Foden's English and all this stuff. Yeah, I saw a lot of that. Um, this episode is also brought to you by Chaos Kits, who are a fun, sporty brand based in the Northwest. Uh, they offer hoodies, beanies, t-shirts, all these things designed to meet the demands and the, and the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Uh, they actually have a lot of cool stuff specifically designed for the winter, and as you'll know, it's Baltic, so uh, worth checking out, especially at this time. And you might find a cool Christmas gift for somebody. It's cool, unique styles, um, and it's a local business, and that's something we're quite keen on as well, supporting local businesses. So um, if that sounds like something you might be interested in, go and check out chaos-k.co.uk. It should be on the screen if I'm any good. Uh, chaos slash k sk- chaos dash k dot co dot uk there we go brilliant smashed Mouthful. it yeah right. <laughs> easy for me to say right um and yeah before we wrap this uh week show up again we partnered with footy.com for the world cup and um we're doing that to offer one listener the chance to win a beautiful world cup kit of their dreams um we're going to pick some of the best world cup kits from history and uh, put them to a vote and then whichever one gets the most votes that one will be given away to somebody who voted for it so this week I've gone for France Away Kit 2006 right let me think Was now it... it's not the best looking kit when they lost in the final it's right. not the best looking kit but it's so iconic it was when Zidane like, oh it. yeah oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one yeah I was just trying to like piece together that's all I picture when I, when, I, when I think about that kit that's who I yeah. picture oh yeah I remember that well who doesn't remember that moment it's yeah, like, no. like you say it's part of history it's iconic and that's what this is cool for really because we're offering someone the chance to win a kit that is iconic a yeah. kit that stands out and that is why my pick is a banger I think it's uh, I've gone for England's 1990 third kit I don't know if you remember this it was the blue one I don't um, I, I wasn't alive it'll then. be on no neither were I I'm not going to lie I don't look like I'm 45 but it was like a very trendy fashionable blue kit it'll be on screen now oh, I think I yeah, remember yeah yeah, yeah 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 I know kit. what you mean the kit yeah. it is wasn't alive but yeah, yeah exactly memorable. same yeah 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 <laughs> Some pictures, love it. Wish I were there. So, yes, um, if you want to go and check social media out and uh, you'll find uh, images of both those kits, just quote tweet the uh, the image and uh, pick which kit you prefer. And if you pick the one that wins the uh, most votes, then you have a chance of winning it. So, yes, uh, that's good stuff. And now we so go on. Go just on to win, all you've got to do is vote Yeah. to win one of those kits. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You click quote tweet, put England or put France... You're in. That's great. Right? Yeah. Because then, out of everybody who's put England, we'll have a list of them. Um, oh, I'm saying England like I've already won. I'll be yeah. the cheek. Um, or France. Whichever one's got the most, we'll have a list, and then we will select someone at random yeah. off that list. So nice. if three people enter, yeah. three that's a one, one in three, three chance yeah. of winning. If Get, five on people, it. Get on it. It's, it's simple. Simple, but good. So yes, thanks to footy.com for making it happen yeah. as well. All right. Okay. Um... Q&A. So, this one, um, as I say, a shorter one, so we just got the one question, but it's the, this one is the question of the week, thereby getting the free t-shirt, so good for them. Um, where do you think Ronaldo will wind up next from Dave oh. Dewurst? Because it, fa- it fits in so nicely, doesn't it? Um, PSG. Oh, wow. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> PSG. <laughs> Show you're working. All right, no worries. Um, so, I've... I've thought about that a bit, actually, while I was putting this together. And there's, because there's a school of thought, like I said, like he'll go to an MLS team. And I don't necessarily think that he has to do that. I don't think he's confined to that as his only option. The question for me is A, you can afford him. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a a very small group of teams. Yeah. PSG's in that. But then it's B, who matches the ambition that he has, because that's clearly important to him, too. Um, PSG's a good shout. Yeah. Um, some people I heard suggestions in Newcastle. I don't think that's realistic. Oh, don't know. No, because they've got that way of building their team yeah, that, that's been yeah. working so well. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal. Hmm. 
PSG. PSG, isn't it? Right, there's your answer, Dave. So that's it. Yeah, good effort. Okay, so Dave gets the t-shirt. Um, get in touch with your question about any aspect of football and you could win yourself a free Kicking Back shirt. So get your questions in. Uh, kickingback.co.uk, the comment section, whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing for you. From, for you. From you. Uh, from you. Keep it in. <laughs> but that's it for this week. <laughs> if you're watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Or if you're watching on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, please give us a positive review butchering this we go again next week with a brand new episode but until then thanks very much for checking out kicking back and enjoy your week on to the next goodbye